since you've become part of the national team and you've been getting your call-ups, uh, just your, um, sorry, just your reaction to, to camp and what does it feel like to represent your country? Uh, first of all, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, uh, for me, it's a dream that, that came true and uh, it's been something that I, I was looking forward to and it's something that kept me going to become a football player. Uh, to see myself wearing this shirt and uh, when it finally came uh, I think it also it came at the right time for me personally uh, and when I got here I was I got welcomed uh, by the group of, of amazing players and the technical team and uh, and I think from the first day I felt home I felt safe and uh, till today I still feel good and this is the most important thing that also I'm part of the family I'm part of a team that turned into a family and this is really good also in a, in a spot to feel at home and to feel like you are inside the family. So for me, it's, it's been amazing so far and hopefully it will continue like this. And uh, I'm, I'm quite sure also that it will continue like this. Thank you. Taking questions for Mishlali? Mazola, then we talk. Uh, Mishlali Mazola from SABC Sport. Uh, do you still recall your, your debut, how, how vividly do you recall that when you walk us through our first appearance for the national team? I, sh I think it was the only time I was nervous to play football. I think that was the only day that I was so nervous because you know when you are dreaming about something and then you know that there's a possibility of you going out there and lose the opportunity forever. But uh, I also knew that if I do what I was doing, before I came here, then there's a chances that I would have another chance and I would do well. And uh, and yeah, things went well. We won, most importantly, and uh, I think we performed well. And from there, and then just like I said, that I felt at home. I felt good, and I'm looking forward also for for upcoming games and, and trainings also to improve and and to work hard for the team and and help the teammates also. Okay. Um, Michali, I think for a number of years you, um, you were in Europe, obviously yearning for that opportunity to play for the Sarasana. Uh, eventually, you became be part of the team now. Um, what's, what's your thinking about the direction that Bafana is taking to get the sense that uh, you guys are a team that could, you know? Yeah, of course, of course, of course, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. I think also you can tell with the performances and also maybe when you come to see the trainings that the environment is it's amazing. I think also it's difficult to find this type of environment in football, even in, in club level, you know, to feel at home, to be happy and to see good performances and to play with good players and uh, and this is what we have here. So I'm quite sure that it will, be, it will not end here, uh, it will continue. Uh, and there's more to come and there's a lot, a lot of room for improvement. But uh, for me, in my opinion, that there's a lot of more to come and only good things, positive things. PT, then Temba? Yeah, Michael, uh, just uh, two questions. Um, the, the, the experience of, of playing in the Europa League for you, personally, the second one, I mean, you've seen it very quick when playing at home with you for a fan. The crowd is not really there. <coughs> Let me start with the crowd. Uh, yeah, of course you want to play a full stadium with your people behind you. Just like when we went to Liberia, we went for a pitch inspection, it was already full already. So we wish for that and we would like to have that. But also I think what's more important also is to continue to do our job and win the games. And, and uh, hopefully that things will turn around. You know, that's, that's, but for my side, as players that we, we really wanted to have people in the stadium because you don't want to play in an empty stadium or with the fans against you at home. So, but also on our side, we will just keep on doing our job and uh, win the football matches. And that's the most important thing also. And for, 
the Europa side, yeah, it's 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 great. It's great, honestly. It's it's great. I never imagined that I would be at that stage to play Europa. It's it's a dream, and then when it comes into reality, and then it's something else, you know. And uh, I'm very happy also to be there, also to take these moments. And for me, the most important thing I think is to continue to enjoy regardless of what happens good or bad game but to enjoy the moments and take whatever i take with me and, and, and that that's the most important thing but so far i'm quite happy and enjoying myself yeah. <coughs> um we all know you as um how much has it been for you how much did it take for you to shake off the the, the family tray and be yourself, your own individual, where we see you now representing yourself, not being known as Umshali in Dwanaga, so and so. And how much did, has it taken you to actually uh, be your own brand in the outside world playing in Europe? Yeah, that's why I left South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, for me at the early stage, it, it was really a problem because I was in the shadow of, of someone and uh, and being compared with someone, it's not also nice. And uh, and to me also, at some point, I lost the hunger to play the game because I was being compared, but also I was a little bit young. But when I realized that uh, I have the ability also to do something for myself, and then I, I was looking to move into this space, into another space where nobody knows me, nobody knows about my family, so I can I can also, make something for myself and uh, and I think so far I've been trying my best also to live my own journey and to do my own stuff and to play my own way and not to to try and copy of course it takes some good things and uh, and learn from that but uh, in the beginning it had a it had an impact in me but when I grew up I, I realized also that it's something that will all always be there i will always be compared i will not run away from it i will have to live with it so but now it has no no impact at all in me because i've grown into my my own man and and that was really really important for me to also go into a journey where i will i will, I will have my own things and, and and focus on myself more I think we we are very very close. First of all, I speak to him every day, uh, and we have an open relationship, but also with a lot of respect, uh, regardless of the of the age. And uh, but many things that I learned from him is things that he never told me, but I've seen them happening into him. So I try to avoid them, and uh, of course he has a, he has a huge role in in my life. Uh, he has played the father figure, and uh, we are very, very uh, in good in good communication, like in good good way together, and we have a strong, strong relationship. But uh, many things that is I've learned, they don't come like from his mouth, but it's something that I've picked up also because also I believe that the the best teacher is is learned from the actions, you know, and. Uh, so that's what I did also, and we are having a good relationship, and that's the most important thing. Let's see, and then sit down, and then we'll round off with that. Uh, Michelle, earlier on you touched on uh, playing the Europa League and all those kinds of things. Um, most of uh, uh, guys in the, in the situation, in the position, we always get told that we go to smaller, so-called smaller leagues and so on, but in Europe, usually there's a stepping stone to go to bigger things. Uh, obviously, I, 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 I think that that is still part of the plan for you. You want to, you want to move to bigger things, the Champions League, the bigger club, and, and all that stuff. And you know, how far are you on that process? Yeah, for sure. I would like to, since I play, I'm playing the Europa, I would like to play the Champions League. I think also from my team, the goal was to qualify for the Champions League. And 
we qualify for the Europa. So honestly, I would like to, to, to play for the Champions League. But also, most importantly, I would like to be where I'm playing and where I'm improving. So I wouldn't want to go somewhere that I would just be there for adding numbers. I would just like to be where I will play and keep on improving. Because what makes me happy is to play and improve every time. Uh, so this is the most important thing for me. But Champions League, yes, I would like to play. Uh, Michali Sapan uh, from Sokala Bima Youth. You in the squad for some months now. Um, ahead of AFCON, do you see yourself as one of those who are in a good position to make the squad? How do you rate your chances of making the final out of conference? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Honestly, uh, there is no guarantees. I believe, I believe, like there is no guarantees. You have to show it. You have to do your job in order to to earn the place. So, the the everything now lies on me to perform, in order to earn the place. Not just to to expect to be there, but also to fight to be there because there are unbelievable players who play in my position. And so I have to also fight for that and, and compete. So there is no guarantees. So all in all, I don't know if I will be there or not, but I will try my best and fight for, for the place. Yeah, Michali, coincidentally, last week I, I, I interviewed a brother and one of the questions that I asked him was, was specifically about you. And uh, he spoke fluently about you uh, investing so much in yourself. He said you don't blink. You know, that blink would move. And one of the things that he mentioned was that you were even investing in yourself. You've got a personal trainer that you paid from your own pocket. How has this been, been crucial for you to be where you are now? And also just an advice to the aspiring uh, young players as well. So the discipline. Go for it. Yeah, what he said is true. It's true. And uh, I mean, it, works for me and it's something that I felt that I needed and uh, and uh, discipline also is, is very key in, in football regardless of what level I mean also in general discipline is key and uh, because without discipline there is nothing that will happen so I'm doing all that I'm doing behind the scenes to make myself good and to feel good and to be in a better position to, to have success and uh, yeah, for the young guys, it's, it's, it's mentality and, and the discipline to, 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 to seek and go out for your goals and fight for it, you know? That's the only thing I can say. Nobody will bring it to you and, and give it to you and you cannot buy it, you have to fight for it every day. So for me, that's, that's all I can say. Alright guys, thank you so much. That wraps up our press conference. <laughs> For the one-on-ones, I'm not too sure.